If you're not ready to publish a commit yet, but you need to put your changes to the side, you can use these two buttons to perform a git stash. Here's my code changes. I can clean up my working tree by clicking on git stash. My changes are gone. If I need to bring them back, I can just come up here and pop the stash. My changes are back. If you'd like to see the entire stack of stashes, we're going to have to go into the ref spec box. This is where we hold on to all of our references. I'll click on stash, and you can see here's a list of all the previous stashes that could be applied. And every time I click pop, it's going to apply the first stash on top of this stack. In the ref spec box, I can check out any reference by double clicking. Here's a list of my remotes and tags for keeping track of your release versions. I can search any version I'm looking for by typing in this box here. That concludes this tutorial on Git stashing. You might also find these videos helpful.